up everybody? So today we have Pull Apart. Uh, this is a local junkyard. I mean, everybody in Atlanta know about Pull Apart, man. If you know about cars, you, you know about Pull Apart, man. It's a junkyard. We're gonna go in here and see what they got. See what we can use, what we can't use, and maybe look for some future projects and get some ideas. So when you come, you gotta bring your own tools. But they'll let you get a wheel barrel for your pieces. That's about all you get, help-wise. Let's see what they got. So I'm in the import section. And as you see, they got, this is like only one row. But they got rows and rows and rows. Let me see if I can get a high view. I came across this BMW, it looked like a 7 Series. Let's see. And the motor still in this joint. Looks like it's got a couple, somebody took a few pieces here and there off, but I'm sure this shit's still salvageable. Oh, here goes a cam right here. Oh man, yeah, this motor might be fucked. Might be done. So let me see. Yeah, this is 750. I don't know if you can see that. Catch the light. Can you see that? 750 LI? But, I mean, just looking in the interior, these seats. They got some cracks. But I'm sure you could take these out and be functional and you could put these in, a, in something else. This could be in somebody's dunk somewhere with the seats, with the with the side bolsters that come in and out. Back seat, I don't know if you see that. Back seat look good. All the door panels already done took off. But yeah, that's something. a lot of Hondas here. A whole lot of Hondas. Like a lot of Hondas. And Toyotas. Another Honda. Another Honda. Another Honda. I don't know what this is. This shit totally gutted. Oh, this a bug. I'm tripping. Another Honda. With a good radiator. Look at that joint. That shit look brand new. See what else they got. Woo! They got bugs on deck. Three bugs. Old Pathfinder. I used to have this kind of. I used to have this. Was like my first car. Nissan Pathfinder. Said so my shit was white. All right, let me look for some more jewels. Let's see what else they got. Boy, people been in here working. Somebody got this snatch, this whole motor, trans, drive, shaft, and everything out this guy. People been in here working. Let me get closer. Look at all these. All these Hondas, Honda, Honda, Honda. Next to that, Honda. BMW, he's got five more Hondas in this line down there. If you got a Honda, this is Honda heaven. Don't ever buy parts off line. That's another Honda right there behind me. Don't, I would never buy no parts if I had a Honda. I would come here every time. So, find the sun there we go so while I'm here I'm really looking for things that I could apply to either this project car that I'm working on the Cadillac or my next project which I already kind of got in mind so I'm looking really for Chevy Ford and any any kind of luxury car because I could get some seats 
out of that being like that BMW I showed you I can get some, I can get the seats out of there and put them in my next project and so forth and so forth. But stay tuned, we'll see what we find. But man, this place. Jeez. And it's actually it's actually a couple more locations of the same type of junkyard. The same the same uh what you call it? I guess brand you could call it, same franchise. Yeah. Same franchise. So I mean Worst gonna work, I go to the other pull apart and see what they got. Look how they got these cars set up too, man. They help you kind of work on them a little bit. It's kind of how I got my car set up in the garage on just a, like a little lift. Check this out. They all like mounted up like, you know, off the ground. You can see. Now, now I'm gonna head to the GM side. See what I can find. Oh, there go Cadillac right there. See what it's looking like. I think that's another Cadillac right there, that black car behind it. Yep. Radio still in that thing, if I wanted a radio. Seats. Oh, uh, no bottom seat though. Let's see if it's got that motor in there. It's got the motor, but this one is tore up. V8. What's up? Yeah, that's a pass on that. Pass on that. Let's see what this black Cadillac got going on. I see the radiator already in the back. Damn, this radiator look pretty good. And look at the spare tire. No, hell no, that spare tire is done. And the radiator fan. Hey boy, these seats right here looking good, boy. Front seats look good. Look at this. Let me zoom out. Front seats. Man. Man, ain't they electric? Steering wheel crisp. This is a good interior right here, though. Look at this shit. Somebody done moved all this shit around. But look at this leather, boy. With the embossed Cadillac and that shit. Shit kind of nuts. Oh, the bottom of the seat is over here on the other side. I'm tripping. Go ahead. Man, look at this, dog. Let me get out of the light. It's got a little wet right here because it's sitting outside. Man, I might have to go. And it's already unattached for your boy. Man, this might go in the lack for real, man. I might have to. Man, this shit already unattached. Look at the back. Even the back look good. Man, I might have to come back for this back seat. I ain't even gonna cap. And the front seat. I can clean these motherfuckers up. All right, let me. Even though I already ordered a back seat, I might just, I might just cop this and upgrade. And I'm looking at these brakes. These some big boy disc brakes. I might can cop them too. Man, if I could get these seats and get the motor and shit to work, boy, this should be hard in my Cadillac. This should be too hard. Let's see what else they got. I'm trying to see if I can find a, a, a Chevy with a good LS motor in this that I could pull and save for the next project. Cause I'm going straight factory on the Cadillac, just upgrading the motor, you know, with some performance parts. But my next joint, I'm going straight futuristic. 
either an LS or a Hemi swap. So I'm trying to find, see if they got a good LS motor I could grab out of one of these things. For the low ski. This would have been an LS right here. Somebody got that already though. I already know this. This is a Trailblazer V8. Yeah, that was gonna be an LS. Somebody got him. No, it's official. If you need the interior for any car, man, the junkyard is the spot. I mean, look at the. I mean, it smells like new leather in here. I mean, it's missing this bottom seat. But you can figure that out. Look at this joint, man. Still got the cup holder looking good. Come on, man. This one missing the front seats. But look at this joint. I mean, this is like new. There ain't even a crack or wrinkle or nothing in this leather. If I come across this old, look like an old Tahoe. And it's half already pulled apart. And I would assume this is a 350 engine. I'm assuming. But I mean, this thing ready to be snatched up out of here, really. You definitely would have to clean this thing out because it's just, this is just, I mean, open air intake manifolds. You know it's some water in there. These shit's open. It looked good though for the most part. I would pull this out if I had something that I wanted to put in there. Rear end, ready to be snatched out of here too. What is this? Oh, this is a Yukon. And it still got most of the motor in here. I think we found the LS, y'all. I think we found us the LS, finally. We, we found one. We found one. Yes, sir. Oh, the dash ripped out, so we ain't got no indication of what the miles could be or nothing. But it's all good. We're going to rebuild it anyway. We found one way in the back. I'm all the way back here. But let's see what else they got. Keep walking. Now, some of y'all know, some of y'all don't know, but my daily driver is a Ford Fusion. They go a Ford Fusion right here, dog. I ain't even, I'm not even looking for this. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not even looking for no Ford Fusion. Because I'm already on to the next car and I'm already about to sell the one I got. But it's crazy that I run across one right here. Let me see what this bumper look like. Bumper's fucking useless. But let's see what else they got. Let's see what else they got in the Ford Fusion. Okay, black interior. Black leather seats. Motherfuckers need cleaning, but they ain't bad. Motorized forwards and back, which my shit don't got. The dash on this motherfucker look different. This might be a newer year than mine, because the dash look different than my joint. Just by a little bit. Let me look in the back seat. Back seat clean. It need to be clean. You got some little spots right here, but that ain't shit. I can brush that out. Man. Yeah, I'm about to come back and get this back seat. And this front seats. 
I'm gonna come back and get both of these, matter of fact. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go home and look at look up how to disconnect these motherfuckers and I'm gonna come back tomorrow and get these guys. That's what I'm gonna close the door, make sure I don't fuck them up. Might get the door panels too with it. Might, just depending on how I think it'll look in my car. Yeah, let me close this guy up. Protect this at all costs. What I'm seeing, I'm noticing the pickings on the Fords are slim. It's light. All the Ford. Cars, it's, it's, it's slim pickings. It's not really no no V8s. I ain't seen no good V8s that I would pull. The, the, the excursion was a possible, but it's still a, it's just a possible. You know what I'm saying? Interiors going through. The van. Only thing that Ford really has going, they have a lot of vans. So you can piece a car together with just the van parts. And the, the rear ends. Fords are known for their rear ends. So it's a lot of excursions, uh, expeditions, vans that you could pull a rear end from if you wanted a strong rear end to replace your current one. So let me look around and see what else they got. Oh, we got a Mustang on the horizon. I bet you ain't no engine. I bet you either it's not a V8 or it's no engine. Is this a V8? I can't even tell. Nope, V6. I was about to say. We got excited for a second, for nothing. I'm over here on the Dodge side now. I'm trying to see what I can find. For you Dodge lovers out there, you Mopar guys. Oh, let me focus. Let's see if we can find me a Hemi. Or something close. Boy, anything that look like it, what's up? Anything that look like it might have a Hemi. The whole engine tore out. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Spoke too soon. Spoke too damn soon. Look at that. Look at that. It's got at least some work. Clearly, it's got a fucking seat belt in the engine compartment. So clearly, this shit has been with a lot but look at that found a Hemi what is this a Magnum yep and an old Dodge Magnum RT that's what this used to say RT Hemi look at that the last damn one look I'm up the wall right there I came all this way so you guys want a, a Hemi out there you can work on. You got your one. One shit. Better than nothing. Let's see if I can find one more for I go. One more for I go for you guys. I mean this shit is a, a, a graveyard for Dodgers. There ain't no, that one might have been the only one. Cause I'm looking up and down, up and down. I don't see, a, I don't, man. Dodge pickings is slim. I mean, they're not playing with these Dodge engines, fam. Like if it had a V8 and it was a Dodge, that thing is gone, bro. They're not playing. They're not playing, dog. It's one more Cadillac for the road. I think this is a, yeah, this is a CTS. Boom, CTS. Look at that. Basically brand new leather. It's still soft too to the touch. So this might have just came in. See, these headrests ain't even got no sweat on them or nothing. You know, the headrest, that normally be the dirtiest part first. Nothing. 
back of the seat look good. Even the carpet. Let's look at this. Let's check this carpet. That's a telltale sign too. The carpet, it ain't new, but look, it ain't really that dirty. It's got some little stain there, stain in the corner right there. Ooh, mm. Stain, stain in the corner right there, but it ain't it ain't totally just dead. Oh, oh, we know who caught this is. We done figured out who caught this was. Kadeem at Walmart. You left your car on the side of the road. Shit got towed. Now it's at the junkyard, fam. Now it's at the junkyard, man. Kadeem, I'm about to get your seats, Kadeem. And I might keep your ID. I don't know. I don't know. Yep. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm fucking with y'all. Front seat look good too. Got some junk in the shit in the front. That seat over there got a little hole in it, but you can get that fixed way cheaper than it is to buy a whole new interior. Yeah. So that's the last one for the road. All right, so that was all they had to pull apart. Y'all saw me, you know. I found the LS, I found the Hemi. It wasn't the greatest Hemi, but it was a Hemi. Uh, it was a lot of odds and ends here and there. I hope this video was helpful. You know, like, subscribe, share. Tune in next time. Cadillac Mac, I'm out.